All right, welcome back. Our guest uh, joining us now, Dr. Jeff Gusky, an emergency room physician. If you have a question for Doc, 916-321-3310. Uh, Doc, I, I'm guessing that we're, you're joining us from the basement of your hospital. Either that <laughs> or if you lo you've lost your lease somehow. But anyway, let's go on. I'm a uh, National Geographic photographer, and uh, I discovered a hidden world of World War I. So this is the other side of my life. All right, that's good to know. I'm glad you came clean this with is beneath that. A, the picture behind me is beneath a farm field in France where thousands and thousands of American soldiers once found shelter during World War I. Wow, we're getting a two-for-one here. All right, let's go to the first yeah. uh, uh, text coming in for Dr. Gusky. Norm said, I was informed that pets usually don't uh, contract coronavirus, but I heard a Bengal tiger, yes, Bronx Zoo. So now we have animals in play. What's going on? Everyone's anxious over that report because it changes the game of having pets. But the answer that I don't think there is an answer yet. I think that there was a study from China that found no association uh, between COVID and dogs, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I wish I could tell you more. Okay, we'll wait for uh, more research on that. Next one, should a woman with low-risk pregnancy consider planning a home birth rather than going to the hospital? That is something she should talk to her ob -GYN about. Um, but I, I want to make this point very clearly. There's a lot of hope and I think the, the sense of panic and fear that's in the air will soon transition to a sense of caution, but, uh, but not panic because the numbers are going to be declining. In fact, in my, I believe that we've already peaked. And okay. uh, so it's going to change very soon. Okay, we're all looking for rays of sunshine here. We do appreciate that. Uh, next text coming in. If tested positive, what meds do I take if quarantined for 14 days? We're told it could be, you know, the ibuprofen, Tylenol, NyQuil. What do you say? No, I think that uh, everyone's talking Tylenol and maybe ibuprofen. Uh, there was some uh, dubious reports uh, that uh, uh, came out about ibuprofen, but there's no research to say mm -hmm. that it's uh, that it's it's bad. But otherwise, uh, the I think that the hydroxychloroquine and Zithromax is very promising. And I can tell you that no matter what you hear on the news, and there's a lot of misinformation and politicization about that medication, a lot of ER docs are taking it right now, including me. Okay, so you are on a Z pack, and you're also. Uh, taking hydroxychloroquine, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. And is that is and that a pre prevent for preventive reasons? Yeah, because it's it's one of those things where uh, it might help, and it's very unlikely to hurt people. A billion people have taken that medicine over sixty some years. Mm -hmm. Over a million people take it for malaria prophylaxis every year. Okay. And the the safety profile is enormous. It's there's it's just been. You know, it's irresponsible of media to get in the middle of a crisis and, and scare people, and it's cost lives, and I'm very upset about it. Okay, well, I'm glad you've had an opportunity to share that today. That's why you're here. All right, uh, we're going to get to more of your questions and answers with Dr. Jeff Gusky coming up after the break.